Mbalentle, Apelele, Wiseman, and Klankla with distinctions in computer science and information systems. <laughs> Daniel Rudolph Mark Squirman. <laughs> Jason Bradley Spencer. Kristen Emma Tunison with Distinction in Information Systems. Matthew Richard Towers. Roderick Thomas Zip with Distinction in Information Systems. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to request you to confer the degree of Bachelor of Science with honors on the following candidates. Benjamin Melikhail Abraham in Biochemistry. Kaylee Elizabeth Andrew in African Vertebrate Biodiversity. Njonge Wezintle Baba in Mathematical Statistics with Distinction. <laughs> Kylie Ann Bailey in Biotechnology with Distinction. Jonathan Peter Balmer in Zoology. Sipum Zibani in Biotechnology. <laughs> Dale Hayward Blair in Environmental Science. <laughs> Mark Buerter in Computer Science. Amy Florida Bray in Physics with Distinction. <laughs> Tana Lee Carlisle in Biochemistry with Distinction. <laughs> Chadwin Quinton Chetty in Information Systems. Sipalele Sanele Tringu in Biochemistry. <laughs> Vivian Abigail Damas in Ichthyology and Fishery Science with Distinction. Nina Melissa de Villiers in Marine Biology. Danielle Kanya Lenina de Force in Microbiology. Keegan Norman de Puncel in Environmental Science. Oluetu de Langamandla in Mathematical Statistics. <laughs> Zandile Nombalelo Glongolo <laughs> in Geography.
Sylvia Segbe Diamond Dobo in Environmental Science. Ryan Guillaume de Toy in a Microbiology. <laughs> Nadine Piokuche Yabongeka Dubazana in Chemistry. <laughs> Miles John Ellery jointly in Computer Science and Electronics. Sydney Fonucci in biotechnology with distinction. Oh. Brooke Ann Franklin in mathematical statistics with distinction. Oh. Lulama non secolelo in classi. In classi in mathematical statistics. Fuyokazi Gosani in biochemistry. Brandon Kyle Hashik in computer science. Sean Edward Hurd Hall in environmental water management. <laughs> Emma Claire Hogan in biochemistry. <laughs> Nathan Christopher Holm in biochemistry with distinction. Damon Hook in Computer Science with Distinction. <laughs> Dylan Hulley in Environmental Water Management. <laughs> Chidinma Uchena Yahenetu in Biotechnology. Gamma Jameson jointly in mathematical statistics and mathematics. <laughs> Rachel Ann Jarvi in microbiology with distinction. <laughs> Lucolo Georgi in chemistry. Benjamin Jones in chemistry. <laughs> Nokolo Lydia Keswa in geography. <laughs> Benjamin Puleng Kirkaldi in entomology. Kieran Kruger in chemistry. <laughs> Samantha Kelly Langton jointly in computer science and information systems. Luntu Mabuchana in biochemistry. Kamuhelo Mafokwana in chemistry with distinction. Yeah. 
Daniele Branco Meyer in Marine Biology. Anna Kudakwashi Makakove in Environmental Science. Tato Catocello Malesa in Human Kinetics and Ergonomics. Lazola Maliwa in Environmental Science. Tidimalo Mary Ann Mafoto in Geography. Sunobomi Namachi Mahakha in Chemistry. Daniel George Marks in Geology. Tendai Wadzanai Mashoko in Geology. Sir Prize Mate Bula in Ichthyology and Fishery Science. Picolomzi Matintra in Environmental Science with Distinction. Nonjabulu Happy Matomela in Ichthyology and Fishery Science. Tabo David Mbale in economics. <laughs> Kayla McEwen in jo jointly in human kinetics and ergonomics and mathematical statistics with distinction. <laughs> Claire McLaughlin in microbiology. Defense Dominic Mufolo in Computer Science. Rita, Rita, Lina, Makari, and Microbiology. Mswaneli, Ja Shwang Mkhatali in Chemistry. Onesimo Mlozana in Microbiology. <laughs> Masejo Patience Mokasi in Microbiology. <laughs> Maloa Molepo in Environmental Science. Caitlin Alice, Alice Mustard in Environmental Water Management.
Banele Mike Motlong in chemistry. Sinako Mtakati in environmental science. Talon Myberg in physics and electronics with distinction. Shailen Omalan Naidu in computer science. Urbain in Shokano and Dagano in chemistry with distinction. Matozi Zelda Renda in De Voleza in Chemistry. Asimachre in Trai in Chemistry. Edith Zanele in Trobo in Biochemistry. Kanyesili Selina in Tonko in Biochemistry. Akona in Kainambi in Chemistry. Method in Guenya in Chemistry. <laughs> Noluazi Bernice in Corsi in Economics with Distinction. <laughs> Lucaniso Canisile in Kreni. In chemistry. <laughs> Apelele in Klansana in biochemistry. <laughs> Balbina Kudzai in Yakamura in environmental science with distinction. Joshua Connor O'Brien in environmental science with distinction. <laughs> Lauren Nicole Offord in African vertebrate biodiversity. <laughs> Jared Dallas Pauls in geography with distinction. Yam, Kle Yam Kelani Yoniela Pepile, jointly in computer science and information systems. <laughs> Dindinkle Muli Ratitsoke in, in human kinetics and ergonomics. Caitlin Wendy Redman in Human Kinetics and Ergonomics with Distinction. <laughs> Matthew Guy Roche in Computer Science. <laughs> Tessa Kimberly Rollard in Environmental Science.
Kelly Schwartz in biochemistry with distinction. Samuel Malewa Shabangu in chemistry. Bongiwe Sabia in biochemistry. Silendile Sabia in environmental water management. Simbongile in Quecha in chemistry. Sanalesiwe Simlendile Sikakani in geography, geology. Mangaliso Tulani Semelani in English with distinction. Yeah. Michael Richard Skeels in Ichthyology and Fishery Science with distinction. Yeah. Odwa Scotti in, inf in Information Systems. Gallard Gilbert Smith in biotechnology with distinction. <laughs> Megan Jane Smith in human kinetics and ergonomics. <laughs> Gareth Wayne Snayman in environmental water management. Michlali Stoffels in biotechnology. <laughs> Megan Swart in environmental water management. <laughs> Jarman Tabo Tabede in microbiology. Nwabisa Tonyela in, in, in Information Systems. <laughs> Jennifer Kate Upfold in Entomology. <laughs> Joshua Michael von Staden in Computer Science. Clark Julian Mignon von Stederen in Entomology with Distinction. <laughs> Sage Nora Lee Wenzel in Biotechnology with Distinction. <laughs> Buten Sinetemba Klokro in environmental science. <laughs> Yondela Zondwayo in environmental water management. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to request you to confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy on the following candidates. <laughs> Or
Ocho Domo, John Achadu in chemistry. Early diagnosis, early, diagnosis, early diagnosis of disease depends on accurate detection. Even more important is the possibility of diagnosis of several diseases using one probe. Ojo Dormo developed a multifunctional smart probe based on nanotechnology for the instant diagnosis of metal poisoning and detection of molecules that cause neurodegeneration in one step. The platform he developed was sensitive to very small amounts of disease markers and has a huge potential for early diagnosis of more than one disease using one test kit. Ulusagan Richard Adieo in microbiology. The roots of erica plants form associations with fungi to enhance survival and nutrient acquisition, which, re which requires the production of fungal enzymes. A selection of ericoid fungal isolates were tested for their ability to produce enzymes that break down starch, cellulose, and xylan. A Leohoma cola species was found to be the most efficient at producing the required enzymes with activities being stable above 45 degrees Celsius and at a pH of 5, even in the presence of several heavy metals. These promising properties show that ericoid root associated fungi are a novel source of enzymes for the bioeconomy. Sonica albertane in entomology. False codling moth is the most important pest of citrus in southern Africa. Sonica's study is the most in-depth thus so far on the ecology of the pest. Sonica identified previously unknown significant differences in the attractiveness and susceptibility of fruit to the pest in orchards of different ages. She identifies the causes thereof as being physiological, nutritional, microclimatic, or biological control related. Very importantly, this has led to the recommendations for different management practices in mature and juvenile orchards. Ayawole Ayeni in chemistry. Catechol oxidase oxidation of phenols, phenol substrates is the primary cause of fruit and vegetable browning during ripening, handling, and processing of fruit. It affects the nutritional quality and the appearance of the fruit and results in over half of fruit losses. Ayawole studied two novel classes of manic based complexes as artificial enzymes. Through kinetic studies, the identification of 16 structural pairs allowed an understanding of the roles of molecular shape, bonding properties of the manic base, and the natures of the metal and secondary ligands on enzymatic activity. Terence Andrew Bellingen in entomology. Aquatic insects play important roles in freshwater ecosystems because they process nutrients. Terence sampled and identified thousands of aquatic insects from South African streams to demonstrate that introduced alien fishes not only replace native fishes, but also impact on their community composition, behavior, and trophic niches. 
He also showed that even drastic process, processes used to remove alien fishes do not have long-term impacts on aquatic insect communities. His work has made a significant contribution to the development of conservation initiatives aimed at rehabilitating aquatic ecosystems. Stephen John Bentley in Biotechnology. African sleeping sickness remains one of the most neglected parasitic diseases that is fatal if left untreated. Stress proteins play essential roles in the life cycle of the parasite, which is transmitted to humans and animals by the tsetse fly. Stephen provided the first bioinformatic characterization of these stress proteins in both the fly and the parasite. He further identified a small molecule inhibitor that disrupted the activity of a particular class of stress protein that potentially represents a new class of drug target to treat this devastating disease. Dane Leslie Brown in computer science. Fingerprints have been used extensively as a biometric to identify individuals. However, since it's possible to spoof fingerprints, more reliable identification systems are needed, for example, to eliminate fraud in accessing social grants. Dane's research explored various combinations of face, fingerprint, palm print, and iris biometrics, and using novel algorithms, created a series of more accurate biometric identification systems. In addition, a set of guideline, guidelines as to which biometric modalities are better suited to a given scenario were developed. David Kyle Brown in bioinformatics. With the advent of new technologies, biologists produce enormous quantities of data, and new tools are needed to process and understand these data. David's thesis develops a bioinformatics tool focused on the analysis of disease-related human genetic variations. For that, David designed a bioinformatics computer management system, established a web server for human genetic variation analysis, and developed tools to analyze the data. David's work provided a basis to enable this kind of work in under-resourced under African countries where it was previously not feasible. Low Classens in marine biology. The Neisner seahorse is an endangered fish found in only three South African estuaries. Lowe's ecological study of, of this iconic species in the Neisner estuary determined population numbers and colonization of man-made features such as the canals of Thiessen Islands Marina, where they use artificial structures in preference to natural vegetation. She also demonstrated the value of underwater video technology in describing sensitive aspects of its bi biology. Her findings will contribu contribute towards its protection and conservation, as well as other seahorses.
Jessica Jane Coburn in environmental science. Jessica investigated the practice of environmental stewardship in South Africa. Jessica believes strongly in science and service to society, which she understands involves breaking some rules. She broke the rules with both alacrity and thoughtfulness, resulting in an innovative transdisciplinary inquiry that has shed light on what it means to be an environmental steward and on how collaboration can be fostered in landscapes. Her work has underscored the ways in which values, our ability to express care, and the unequal nature of South African society influences pathways towards sustainability in the country. Daniel Keith Dankwertz in marine biology. A key conservation requirement is quantifying connections among populations. This is difficult for birds, but one approach is through their genetics. Dan studied Indian Ocean seabirds to understand how their behavior affects genetic exchange. Astonishingly, he found populations of the rare Baraz petrel separated by less than 10 kilometers showed remarkably little genetic exchange, while Suti terns showed genetic exchange across huge distances. The results allow us to identify evolutionary significant units, the basis for conservation management, and the strategies needed to protect different species. Shane Patrick Flanagan in biotechnology. Aptimers are molecules designed to diagnose illnesses. In the first such detailed investigation into aptimers that diagnose cancer, Shane uncovered that not only have many aptimers fallen short of this promise, but the reasons why they have. This study has contributed towards how all diagnostic aptimers are designed and tested. It opens the door for aptimers that reliably sound the alarm, not just for breast, lung, and ovarian cancers, but a host of other illnesses. Sean Gallagher in botany. Sean's research in, involved modeling the impact that changes in atmospheric carbon dioxide levels will have on barley plants being fed on by aphids. His study is a world first and confirms that climate change will negatively impact small grain crops such as barley with increasing carbon dioxide resulting in increasing insect numbers, plant damage and shortened plant life, all which means a smaller harvest and sadly less beer. We should all be very worried. Onaleta Guate in water resource science. Within a changing climate, we must understand plant water use to sustainably manage rangelands. Evapotranspiration is the biggest hydrological flux after precipitation, but is difficult to quantify. Onalena measured biomass production and evapotranspiration in the grassland and Albany thicket biomes. Comparing models of evapotranspiration and selecting the best models for quantifying the impact of alien plant invasions into the grassland biome, he showed how high water use efficiencies of the thicket biome supports the rehabilitation of thicket. These results are being incorporated into the policies for the Working for Water program in the country.
Crystal Dorothy Hansen in geography. Crystal's research investigated geomorphological processes and landscapes in high altitude and high latitude environments. Her research in Antarctica, the sub-Antarctic Marian Island, and the Eastern Cape Drakensberg showed that geomorphology is not exclusive to specific regional climatic regimes. The results also provide an ideal platform to investigate current environmental trends and enables us to predict future changes to our planet. In addition to her pioneering academic work, Crystal was the first South African woman to lead an Antarctic field team. Lance Sinjin Ho in biotechnology. Aptimas, single-stranded RNA and DNA molecules, offer the potential to create designer sensing molecules. As such, they have a wide use in diagnostic technologies. In a comprehensive study, Lance identified key factors limiting Aptimas' abilities to detect their targets. Applying this knowledge, he generated the first ever set of Aptimas that binds to the, al the allergy biomarker histamine. He then constructed a sensor capable of de specifically detecting histamine, which is of great interest to both the biomedical and industrial sectors. Michael David Dukes in microbiology. The South African citrus, citrus export industry to Europe is threatened by an insect pest which is indigenous to South Africa. Control of this pest is effectively managed in part by two different viruses that infect and kill the insect. However, methods of improved control are always required. Michael observed that mixtures of these viruses significantly enhance insect mortality. The discovery of beneficial interactions between these two viruses provides an opportunity for the development of novel biopesticides for improved control of this pest in South Africa. Rose Cudier in biotechnology. Mitochondria are at the center of maintaining metabolic balance, but the role they play in kickstarting or maintaining the determination of stem cell fate is not clear. Rose looked at the interplay of mitochondrial structural dynamics and its gene expression in the co commitment of human mesenchymal stem cells to fat cells. Her findings provide evidence that mitochondria are not just metabolic furnaces, but play a crucial role in driving stem cell specialization thus paving new avenues in metabolic disease research. Subsichle Makatini in physics. High dynamic range imaging of radio interferometric data used to be a dark art, a manual and error prone process done by a few select experts using esoteric and fragile tools. The candidate developed containerization techniques to wrap such tools into robust, automatic, and reproducible data pipelines. Subsichle demonstrated this by producing a world record dynamic range image from observations from the Very Large Array Telescope and then applied these techniques to studies of future surveys with telescopes such as the Meerkat and the Square Kilometre Array.
some Kelo Malchas in biochemistry. Hardwoods are attractive feedstocks for biofuel production due to the vast advantages they offer. In this study, two selected hardwoods were subjected to two pretreatment processes and compared with respect to the, how these pretreatments affect the enzymatic conversion to sugar. Some killers successfully achieved the, the empirical design of an optimized hardwood specific enzyme, enzyme degrading cocktail called Holomix and demonstrated that it was comparable to and better in some instances in efficiency than several commercial enzyme preparations designed by multinational enzyme producing industries in Europe and the United States of America. Shimon Gadzo, Merlin, Matamba, in physics. Our reliance on space-based technologies, such as communications and navigation, requires constant monitoring of the near-Earth space environment, as disturbances of the Earth's magnetic field during ge geomagnetic storms introduces pos positioning errors that can reach several meters. Accurate modeling and subsequent mitigation of such errors requires the establishment of long-term statistics, dealing the type of ionospheric responses during geomagnetic storms. Chema Gadzor performed this task using global navigational satellite systems information to improve our understanding towards improving and developing accurate space weather models. The HSP Stacy Alexandra Mattison in biochemistry. The HSP70, HSP90 organizing protein, also known as HOP, is increased in cancer and associated with malignant characteristics, making it a drug target for new anti-cancer treatments. Stacy conducted a, a detailed molecular and cellular um, study of HOP in cancer cells. She described the mechanism by which the levels of HOP are increased in cancer cells and provided the first evidence of a novel variant of HOP that may represent a more selective target for cancer therapy in the future. Catherine Eve McLean in mathematics. Geometric control theory is a branch of mathematics that investigates control problems using methods and ideas from differential geometry. Solving an optimal control problem is to find a control that steers the system from a starting state to a final state while doing it so optimally. In her thesis, Catherine defined problems geometrically to find out which problems were similar in shape to one another and hence geometrically equivalent. Working within a four-dimensional space called the Engel group, she found the optimal controls for a large class of problems. <laughs> 